Personal pronouns are also classified according to case. As I was explaining to Nemesis the other day, nouns, I said, have cases. So the pronouns that replace them have to have cases too. Makes sense, doesn't it? Gork, gork. <sighs> no, not of frogs, I suppose not. Anyway, the same cases we use to classify nouns, we use for personal pronouns too. The nominative, as you know, indicates whom or what the sentence is about. An example, please, Nemesis? It jumped into the job. <laughs> oh, yes, very funny. It, meaning the frog, is what the sentence is about. So it is in the nominative case. Possessive case pronouns indicate ownership or possession. His ire was up. <laughs> Don't press your luck, old boy. But yes, I, I did have ownership of that ire. I'll grant you that. The third case is the objective, generally to indicate that the pronoun has something done to it. It also receives the action of the verb. The frog splashed him! <laughs> Indeed he did. What was done to me was my getting splashed. Finally, we use the vocative case to show the person or thing spoken to. As in, you stop this silliness right now! <laughs> Unlike nouns, however, most personal pronouns belong to one case and one case only. Nouns such as professor and boy can be either nominative or objective, depending upon how they're used in a sentence. But the personal pronoun she can only be nominative. Me, only objective. I, only nominative. Her, only objective. And so on. So, let's see how the personal pronouns break down according to case. First, the nominative case personals. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Next, the possessive case personals, which show ownership. Mine, yours, hers, his, its, ours, and theirs. Finally, the objective case personals. Me, you, her, him, it, us, you, and them. Notice how the pronoun you keeps popping up all over? It's an extra heavy-duty pronoun, both nominative and objective, both singular and plural. Also, you is the only personal pronoun that can be used in the vocative case. So when one says things such as, now you behave, one's using you as a vocative case pronoun. Now, while Nemesis and I discuss the matter, Look at these sentences and see if you can tell into which case the underlying pronouns are classified. How did you do? Did you notice that, just as with nouns, nominative and vocative case pronouns often are placed at the beginning of the sentence, objective near the end, and possessive somewhere in between? Same as with nouns, 